welcome, hello, uh, to this, uh, what date is it? What's the day today? Something like... Tuesday. Tuesday, it's Tuesday. December... 5th? I don't know, the first was Friday. Is it the 5th? Was it? Yeah. I think it's the 5th. And this... It's the 5th! This Friday's the 8th. Yeah. You know why I know that this Friday's the 8th? Something cool's happening on Friday, isn't it? That's right. You want to talk about it now or no. later? We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it when we get to the switchboard. We'll do that. Okay. How about that? We'll mix it up. So where's my? Where's all my pieces of paper that tell me what to say? I couldn't. I couldn't put the notes together yesterday. I was dealing with some damn. headache situations. So when I get damn I get my, my damn day situation. job getting in the way. No, not the day job. It's just uh, when I get those headache situations. It's like I can't use screens or else pain happens. So where's your microphone? It's over there. It's okay. I'm a bit of a loud talker, so <laughs> I'm going to be extra. We should be mic. We should be equally mic. We should be. So but you, I either, think that either mic you is get a bit the too mic. short. Because let's see, we'll, we'll we'll pull it out here. Uh, oh, 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 it'll oh, work. It'll working. work. I think it'll work. So I think we can make that happen. I feel much uh, better now. Now I can be more conversational. Yeah, but uh, welcome to this uh, December fifth edition of the Tech Tuesday Live Show. Um, we're just going to start right now. A bit of a short show today. Not too much going on. These are the largest googly eyes I could find nice. on Amazon. I bet nice. they make bigger ones. I'm surprised that these are the largest. Well. I'm sure there's larger. You know, I, d I just scanned the. Yeah. Th these are big enough for my thigh, for my needs. Okay. I don't know what my needs are yet, but they're, they seem perfect. All right. Um, so yeah, let's just let's talk about jobs. So there are a couple jobs posted yesterday. Uh, thank you, Michael Hess, for posting those jobs. Um, this kind of reminds me of a mascot that <laughs> we might be uh, I don't thinking know. of. It's true. At some it's point, true. and talking about the end of the show, maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Um, so yeah, so let's just read this off. So first, City of Eugene, they're looking for a senior application support tech. Awesome. And uh, also, Shelton Turnbull Printers is looking for a web support slash e-commerce specialist. Nice. And those are the jobs for today. Um, we're a bit. We're kind of in like the the winter holiday season. The doldrums. Doldrums. So. A couple jobs is pretty good. There is a bonus job, but in order to see the bonus job, as usually, you have to go to eugenetechjobs.com. And I know they're hiring. I know that job. they're hiring where I work at CBT Nuggets. Oh, really? And I think IDX is always hiring, and I think I think most of the places are yeah. always hiring. They, yeah. they just don't make it through the curation process because they're not new. Yeah, exactly. Michael only talks about uh, new job postings, so yeah. it's still definitely worth taking a look if you're to, to take a look at specific. Places, job boards, and, and yeah. uh, jobs pages, and stuff like that, career pages, because uh, just because it's not on the website for this week doesn't mean that there's not a job available at that place. It just means there's not a new job available. And I think TAO's got like a job, li yeah, job list that they're working on too. It's yeah. bigger in Portland than it is here, but they're working on getting the whole yeah. South Willie Valley. Yeah. Um, and so that's good. So that's, that is the jobs for today. Um, we're going to move on to the switchboard. Nice. Um, so, got a couple switchboard posts to talk about. First, uh, looks like RJ Ewing is looking for a front end developer for UI UX design. Nice. Uh, it's about it's a contractual kind of deal, 10, 10, 10 99 or whatever. Freelancers. Uh, freelance, about two, one to two months of full time work is available right now, or it could be spread out and uh, over a longer period. That's web um, stuff. And then, yeah, uh, UX front end UI UX designer. Nice. Um, for, let's see here, current site is using Angular 1. They're yeah. not sticking with Angular 1, but it'll probably be helpful if you know about it. Sure. Um, you should probably have a good design sense as well. And if Especially you're interested, for that designer job. Yeah, probably. probably. Yeah. I think that's probably a good so idea. So if you're like a coder and you've never designed anything, you're not a designer. Yeah. Don't apply to <laughs> <laughs> if you're not a front-end developer. <laughs> if you're like, Angular, I can do Angular. <laughs> well, maybe you should apply anyway. Yeah. Don't, cool. don't, let, me, don't let me hold you back from Just, your dreams. Uh, if, Design uh, dreams. On the switchboard, there is an email that you can send uh, stuff to with like a GitHub example or et cetera, et cetera. You got to have if your examples on GitHub these days. Yeah, you got I it. talk to people and I'm like, uh, you know, send me a link to your repo. And they're like, oh, I haven't really been doing anything on GitHub. I'm like, what? Do yeah. that. Do that first. Do that. And even if you don't have your own pet project repos up there, go contribute to something. Go find mm -hmm. something. Yeah. Uh, 
Antonio over at IDX, he's got a list. He publishes a list of local open source projects in oh, town. Nice. Just go on there, uh, fork the repo, add some comments, you know, fix some <laughs> grammar, you know, just contribute yeah. in some way. Yeah. Uh, even if it's not like rewriting the whole thing. Yeah. Just so that you've got a good portfolio of uh, uh, showing that you're working out in the open, and mm -hmm. it's easy for people to see what you've done because they can just look at those uh, pull requests and. Yeah. You know, there you are right there. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, so yeah, that uh, thank you very much, uh, RJ Ewing, for posting on the switchboard. And then our second and final post that we're going to talk about is a post that you made talking about something cool that's just, happening. Just hours ago. Just hours ago, posted on December 5th, 2017. It's already got six views. How about that? Nice. Um, I looked at it five times. Nice. <laughs> and then there's you. Yeah. No. Uh, so anyway, every year the Broadway Commerce Center puts on a fabulous uh, collaborative party on the second floor. Yay. And so those are companies like 20 Ideas, Code Chops, Bell Funk, uh, some other people on the second floor. I should know all my neighbors, but you know, I know that those folks are participating mm -hmm. in the party. Uh, other folks like Blue Bus Creatives uh, might not be. Mm. But uh, anyway, but games came up as the theme this year. So uh, I am a huge tabletop game player. Uh, the tables themselves don't have to be huge, but I'm a big fan of playing yeah. tabletop okay. games. Good, good. Thank you for, for <laughs> elaborating on that. And so uh, I thought, you know, if there's one thing that a co working space can instantly be turned into with all the desks and stuff, is a game parlor, and yeah. so I'm bring, I brought a big collection of games with me, uh, Kark Zone and the Tickets to Ride and Dune, and, you know, so some obscure games, some really popular games, mm -hmm. and so Friday from six to nine, we're gonna have yeah. games, and yeah. so it's also our six year anniversary party, so that's nice. fun. That's awesome. And I know Bell Funk's doing games as well. I heard that there's gonna be like. Uh, cornhole in the hallways Ooh. and uh, whatever. There's just a lot of stuff going on. 20 Ideas is uh, doing stuff, analytic spot. So, oh, and in the other code shop space uh, is gonna be uh, Far Flung Birds is gonna be playing uh, music. Nice. And so that'll be a lot of fun too. So if you wanna check out some music, you can go to Code Shop Space too. And if mm -hmm. you wanna uh, check out, if you wanna play games, come to the Code Shop's main space both on the second floor of the Broadway Commerce Center. Yep. Shouldn't be too difficult to figure out which one is which. Friday at 6. Friday at 6. That's it. That's, that's, and that is also... You didn't thank me for using the switchboard. Oh, thank you, Mark, for using the switchboard. <laughs> You're very welcome. Um, Thanks for providing it as a service. It's I haven't really been cool. able to boost your post yet, so I'll have to do that. I don't need, but, we don't uh, need too much boosting. It's all good. We'll just drink our beer. <laughs> <laughs> Only the people who are listening should come. Yes. I'm kidding. All five of you. <laughs> five? Wow. That's a record breaker. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that is. Oh, my goodness. Is that the real thing? Mm -hmm. <sighs> yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. So, we're, well, we're going to do the events first, and then we're going to talk about that. And, but Mark's going to take a look at it while, oh, we, my goodness. while uh, we talk about, while I talk about the events. Um, I'm, just, I'm just going through the meetup right here. So, if your event's not on meetup, mm. put it on meetup. Then we'll have a much easier time of finding it, talking about it, boosting it, all that good stuff. Um, so yeah, it looks like Game Startup Coffee Meetup tomorrow at 9 a.m. at the Barn Light as usual. Also, Eugene Springle Spring. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, easy the, for you to say. Easy. The Eugene Springfield Startups is putting on open mentor hours at Ferdy Lab in Eugene at uh, 9 a.m. at the Ferdy Lab Thinkubator, apparently. Right across from the Holt Center. Right across from the Holt Center. Um, let's see here. They're also, also, Eugene Springfield Search is putting on the uh, Redefining Women in Tech co-working and mentoring um, event. So at 3 p.m., um, Redefining Women in Tech has like a, like a Women in Tech co-working meetup at yeah. the Rain Space. That'll be at 3 p.m. Yeah. Then, let's see here, the Women in Tech Wednesdays event huh? happens. Basically, that's right after work. Yeah, so, so at 3 p.m. is the co-working, and then that basically goes on until 5.30, 5 or 5.30, yeah. where the Women in Tech Wednesdays picks up. It's just a kind of casual meetup for the Women in Tech group. It's like a bakery, right? Um, yeah, it's a Noisette Pastry Kitchen, which Easy is right across from uh, the Davis. Oh, um, nice. 
And speaking of the Davis at 5.30 p.m. Uh, as well, there's 5.30 p.m. is the Women in Tech Wednesdays. It's also the first Wednesday game dev dinner, which used to be at the Davis, but now it's at Beer Garden. Okay, nice. Right, so... so bring keep, your gloves. Keep, bring your gloves, yeah, and your hats and your beer steins, because that's going to be a good time. And then finally, uh, in, start, uh, in Startup Florence, Oregon Coast is putting out an event. Oregon Reigns Open Mentoring for Entrepreneurs will be uh, available at room 158 at the LCC Florence campus. All righty. Um, at 5.30 p.m. So if you're yeah. in Florence and you want to do some business mentoring, 5.30 p.m. room 158 at the LCC Florence campus. And you know, you know what's going on right now? What's going on right now? At the Hilton? What's, oh, yeah, there's it's something like going the on right now. It's like the there? 20 under 40? Yeah. 40 under 20? Something like that. 20 under 40? 40 it's under like 40, the I think. 40 40th, uh, no, 20, 20 is brightest uh, minds. There's, I don't have the... Willamette Week with me. It's not the Willamette Week. I don't have the, what is it, the weekly? Yeah. Whatever. That, uh, anyway, it's a big thing. Uh, every so often they do this. Uh, and it's put on by Technology Association of Oregon, apparently? No, not really. Really? really? No, it's like a Chamber of Commerce thing oh, and a something it? else kind of thing. But I can easily see how you might be confused because Matt Sayer is the keynote speaker or the MC ah, for the evening. Gotcha. So that's, that's the connection there. But uh, yeah, it's a. It's kind of a cool thing. So, yeah. so if, if right you're watching now. this and you were like, oh, I really want to check that out, it's at the Hilton. Hilton. Right now. Yes. Probably a good time. Sorry I interrupted Sorry I you. Again. Well, it's all good. Um, so we're going to move on to December 7th, uh, Thursday. So there's, of course, Game Dev Happy Hour. will be at 5.30. And it's a special one. Uh, right. 5.30 at the Starlight Lounge. And this What's is, so special about it? Um, Lunum Dare was last weekend. Oh, that's right. You know, and I participated in that for the first yeah, time. Yeah, I saw, I saw that. That was really cool. I unfortunately wasn't able to participate, but I'm really glad you were able to participate. Maybe but, I'll finish um, my game sometime. Yeah, because you Maybe should. Maybe Thursday. You yes. should definitely do that before Thursday because what's happening at the uh, the Game of Happy Hour on Thursday is they're showcasing all the games. Oh, really? Yeah. So I need to get a hold gonna... of somebody who knows math. Oh, okay. Everything was working fine except for when you shoot the... When you shoot the thing, it, the thing didn't go towards the thing. It just kind of wandered off to the side. So uh, my science, that, cosines, and gotta tangents. Got to get that vector math, that three-dimensional vector my math My degrees is off. and radians were off, or something was going yeah. on. But you'd fire the gun, and it would just be like all pew. Yeah, that's a problem. Didn't work right. Probably have to do with math local. Math is hard. Local versus global space. Look it up. That's probably your problem. Hmm, yeah, maybe quaternions. Yeah. Don't worry about quaternions. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so that's happening. I'll be there. I'm going to be there. At the happy hour, uh, there you. They got. We, I guess we got the big screen TV, so we'll be using nice. that to to demo the games. It's going to be. A if good you time. haven't been to Game Dev Happy Hour before, mm -hmm. now this is the one to yes, check out because definitely. there's like lots of cool stuff. There's a big hack this weekend. Probably whatever. There's going to be a whole evening of seeing what the clever people made over a weekend. Yeah. Um, and then also, that's, so that's at 5.30 p.m. Also at 5.30 p.m., uh, the food and beverage industry happy hour is happening at the Barn Light. So oh, nice. if you're interested in that, so if, you, if you're like, ah, video games, I want to talk about foods and beverages. And I'm guessing the food and the beverage people know how to put on a party. I bet. Just yeah. saying. Yeah. There might be food there. Maybe. And beverages. And beverages. Yeah. But that is a potential. That is potential, potentially a thing that's going to happen. That sounds like um, fun. And then also uh, Code Corvallis, if you're in our Corvallis, Corvallis friends, uh, JavaScript Thursday, 6 p.m. at the Business Enterprise Center. Yeah, I think so it's like every, every Thursday, isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much every Thursday. There's we some gotta gaps go sometime. occasionally. Yeah, we should. We should go sometime. I talked to the guy. I went to the, uh, there was a thing in Corvallis. Yeah. Win Expo. Oh, yeah. A couple of weeks ago, a month ago, something like that. And I talked to all the... Corvallians, mm -hmm. Corvallites, I don't know, sure. people who live in Corvallis. Yeah. And so they were all kind of there because mm -hmm. it was a thing. And I ran to the people who put on the Corvallis events and stuff, nice. and it was kind of nice. Yeah. And I said, oh, hey, we promote you all the time. And they're like, where? And I was like, <laughs> in, in Eugene. And they're like, oh. <laughs> so still, you're welcome, but, you know, hey, yeah. whatever. <laughs> um, plus, I, I'd actually, I'd, I'd be interested in going because I actually use JavaScript professionally. I'm a Node developer. You know, and it's surprisingly close. Yeah, it is. It is It is really not that far. Yeah. Corvallis. Yeah. Um, but, uh, so, yeah, so Corvallis, JavaScript Thursday happening at the Business Enterprise Center in Corvallis at 6 p.m. 
Moving on to Friday. Yeah. Got to move on to Friday. So big party. Uh, big party, of course. Party, party, party. At uh, at uh, here. Yes, this, the code this shop code space. shop space as well as other spaces on the second talked floor. About the party. We're We've talked about talking. the party. Uh, Eugene Teal Organization Explorations is putting on the Teal Explorers Check In, so it's their kind of monthly sort of They're meetup. They're still doing deal. it, huh? 4 p.m. at Lloyd's house. Oh, nice! Whatever that is. All right, is. Lloyd. So, so it's at Lloyd's house. That's awesome. Um, <laughs> just pretty, it just says Lloyd's house. Well, you know, so I love it. You know, it it we're, I, I'm laughing because. Um, uh, years ago, like when we started the Code Shop space, yeah. one of the reasons why we started it is so people had a place to have meetups yeah. that wasn't, you know, I'm sure your house is very nice, Lloyd, but everybody was having their meetups basically, um, you know, there was a couple bars in town and then it was at so-and-so's house or mm -hmm. whatever. And so, and now you see a lot of meetups and they're happening, you know, in uh, spaces, happening yeah. at the Code Shops, the Free Lab or whatever. So mm -hmm. I just got a chuckle when I heard Oh. They're meeting at Lloyd's house. Yep. <laughs> so you're you're very house. brave to put your address on the internet. Good job. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Lloyd's house is the the, the name of a like a bar or something. I mean, maybe it it's a new co working space. Who knows? Um, let's see. It's uh, yeah, Lloyd's house. If you RSVP, he will send you the address. So oh. yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just Lloyd's house. He's he's savvy. Uh, so let's see here. Uh, also happening on Friday. Uh, this is actually pretty cool. So Eugene Region Coder Dojo Hub is putting on a celebration at 4.30. Really? Celebrating the Hour of Code. That's this Friday? That's this Friday. Really? Yeah, so as soon as I'm able to scroll here. Is that, so is that LCC Downtown Campus? Yeah, it's at the LCC Downtown Campus between 4.30 wow. and 6.30 p.m. You know, I've, always, I've done yeah. that for like the past uh, three years straight. Yeah. I should check my emails. Make merry, <laughs> enjoy coding activities for children and adults. They'll celebrate many other exciting tech things happening in their community and more details will be coming soon the event is free and open to all ages totally do that I've, so yeah yeah uh, go down go down to the lcc downtown campus about four right yeah. four four thirty yeah and then chill out with the coder dojo folks that's good that's gonna be a good time and then come straight over to the broadway commerce center party yeah. with the coach shops folks it's a full day of uh, full day hilarity of just, of just just partying yeah. party hard and then of course eugene makerspace open hack night 6 p.m at Eugene Mix Space on Friday. Mm -hmm. um, nothing. I'm I'm not seeing anything for Saturday or Sunday. Which is Thank nice. goodness. On um, Monday, there's an interesting one. Rain Eugene. It'll be at the Rain Eugene building at 2 p.m. The event is titled "What's Up with Health Insurance." <laughs> Does that have, this is it like italicized? Uh, no. But it's What's got a question. It's actually insurance? hosted by Joe. Joe's actually the one who is hosting it. Okay. Um, Let's see, it's all the buzz about health insurance, you know, got you with questions. Um, deadlines are approaching for open enrollment, um, you know, so uh, there's many questions out there around health insurance versus does Oregon still have the health exchange? What qualifies as small for small business group insurance? Uh -huh. um, what about associate association health plans, et cetera, et cetera? If you're concerned, especially, I guess this is since Joe's putting this on this array thing, it's sort of more about, at least from what I'm reading here, more about kind of health insurance to do with your business and stuff like that, how to make that work out um, with the new systems. So if your that's business- That's Saturday? That's Monday. Oh, Monday. Monday at 2 to 3 p.m. at the Rain downtown location, 942 Olive. Cool. And so if you're kind of wondering what's going on with the health insurance situation- if you're health insurance curious. Yes. Um, I'm, talk to I'm Joe. sure a lot of you are. Go talk to Joe at 2 p.m. Rain downtown on Monday. Cool. And then, of course, Tuesday, December 12th, Tech Tuesday, and the live show will be going on as usual. And Big open, surprise. Open Act Night also will be going on as usual, 6 p.m. Aren't we coming up on the holidays? No, a few more weeks. It's a little, it's, we're coming up on it. It's like okay. the 12th, and then we'll have another show on are the we going? Are we going to skip any shows, or are we just going to go straight through? Have you looked at the know. schedule? No. We may or may not, you know. We'll probably do a show. I could do a show from like my house. I could do that. It's a thing I've done before. I'm just gonna, you know, if you can't do a show, I'll just like point the camera at uh, the fire. Yeah. And we'll just do like 20 minutes we'll of fire. We'll just do that. And then, <laughs> and that'll be good. But yeah, that is the show for today, except 
there's something really cool that we want to let you guys know about, all you diehard fans. You want to do the that, extra special announcement? Yeah, that watch until the end of the show. Um, we really want to talk to you about something because we got... So if you go to eugenetech.org right now, you'll see something really cool on the front page. Um, basically, we need your help um, because we don't have any money. No, 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 no. <laughs> we haven't practiced the pitch. We don't have any money. We've never had any money. We're no. a volunteer organization. And so one of the things that we do uh, when we do the live streaming, tonight we're live streaming and we're using the infrastructure at the Code Shop space. Yeah. Yay, fiber. Thanks, uh, Excess Media. There's a lot of times where we're doing stuff and you'll see us out at Kesey Square or maybe we're yeah. elsewhere. Yeah. And when we're not on the fiber, uh, we have to use a hotspot. And so I don't have it with me today, but we have this little hotspot that we get from the uh, KLAX organization. They're also a 501c3 nonprofit. And if we support them at like a $500 level, mm -hmm. they give us a, a LTE hotspot and then a year of service. Yeah. So it's unlimited LTE uh, that we can use for streaming because streaming's huge. Mm -hmm. uh, bandwidth, you'd go broke if you're using a Verizon <laughs> hotspot. Sure. Well, we've been we've been running off of uh, the Kalax hotspot that um, someone, myself, I think, generously donated a year ago, mm -hmm. uh, and now it's dead. Yeah. And so we're Doesn't like, I don't know if I got another five hundred bucks to throw at this. Hey, why don't we ask the community if they want to uh, support us in our streaming endeavors? Mm -hmm. And so we have a specific ask. We're trying to get another Kalax hotspot. Yeah. Or two or three. Uh, there's price breaks if if we get to certain levels. Like I think uh, uh, I don't know, fifteen hundred gets you two, and like it looks two like grand one, gets you five, five or like something. Five hundred bucks gets you one hotspot. Yeah, a thousand dollars gets you two hotspots. It's it's, it's, it's five hundred bucks per hotspot, right? Well, but it price breaks, right? I think it's three for a thousand and five for twenty. Oh, okay, so we need to update the website. Anyway, <laughs> so if you go to the website now, it's very nice. You see that there's different ways to, uh, you see all these images here. There's unicorns, big surprise. There's a narwhal. There's a zebra, zebra corns, all these uh, icons that we use for the different mm -hmm. things that we do. And so there's different levels of support. Uh, if you, uh, and there's, it's a little bit like a Kickstarter campaign. Yeah. So, uh, you're like, eh, you know, if you're a narwhal, you're like, hey, I love you guys, but I'm kind of broke. I'll buy you a kombucha. Five bucks uh, gets you in. And, yeah. uh, the and, even, and even, like, so just do want to say as, as sort of usual, even, like, the lowest level of support possible is always super, super helpful. Um, oh, yeah. Like, if all you can spare is five bucks, but you do want to help us, you know, continue. It's uh, that, you know, every little bit does actually helped quite a lot so it's it's you're sounding uh, it's like good. the uh, you're sounding like npr or whatever pb opb basically everyone who's ever ran a campaign ever right yeah basically <laughs> <laughs> so uh uh and with the narwhal level the swag you get is our undying gratitude um but if you actually want stuff uh you got to pay a little bit more money um we have all this wonderful art uh over the years we've uh commissioned Art. We've got the golden unicorn of awesome. We've got some zebra corn and zebra emojis we use in the Slack channel. Those are all commissioned. Uh, and uh, we're showcasing all the artists uh, by making a sticker pack mm -hmm. that has one of each of these uh, different creatures. And then you can uh, put the sticker pack on the back of your computer or give yeah. it to your kids or whatever. But if you want the sticker pack, uh, donate 20 bucks, get a fancy ET sticker pack with uh, unicorns, zebra corns, narwhals, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, now, here's where it gets awesome. Yeah. If you give us 40 bucks, uh, you get a, t a logo t shirt. You may have seen there's about three Eugene Tech logo t shirts that are floating around in the world, but we've never actually sold them before. Mm -hmm. And so it's the, it's the number one thing that people ask for is say, hey, when can, how can I buy a shirt? Now we've got to wait for this you to buy out. a shirt. Uh, 40 bucks, uh, I know it's a lot to, to ask for a shirt, but we're trying to get these hot spots. So yeah. uh, 40 bucks gets you a shirt. If you're feeling super awesome, uh, you can uh, uh, support us at the unicorn level. And 
with that you'll get all the things you'll get two sticker packs and uh, two shirts uh, for a hundred bucks mm -hmm. and uh, basically and all of these of course do also come with our undying gratitude packs. oh yeah you get yeah so obviously that, you, so you get that, that comes with everything and then uh, just for you know if there's uh, uh, you know if, if somebody's feeling super generous or needs a good tax write-off this year because we are uh, innovate Oregon project so this is a 501c3 tax deductible bloody bloody pay, pay through PayPal you'll get your receipt piece mm -hmm. of cake um, the the actual golden unicorn of awesome the one that lives I don't have it with me right now it's downstairs it, right it's, now it's sitting the, yeah. on the table probably of the barn at, at the barn light yeah it's nine inches tall mm -hmm. but it's the actual one that's been used for every Tech Tuesday for the past year or so yeah um, if you uh, if you donate uh, five is it 500 yes yeah if you're willing to donate 500 you get your picture and or your logo on the hotspot itself and if we ever use the hotspot we will show it to the camera and say special thanks to whoever Ooh, our guys, golden unicorn of awesome I didn't know about that one that, that that's that, awesome. that's actually like advertising almost yeah right? that's pretty good and then you also get the uh, you get the golden unicorn of awesome the actual and all the other awesome. stuff so you get some and shirts awesome. and some other stuff so. so it's pretty cool and these are just you know and so yeah go to eugenetech.org you'll see all these uh, mm -hmm. images are online it's super cool just click on those images right on the front page it'll take you to it and uh, and we do really um, we do appreciate uh, I'm clicking on the things <laughs> <laughs> and again we do really appreciate your support there'll be probably more coming out this is kind of more of a soft watch we just we just got word that it was ready to go so this is something decided. that uh, Jessica and Kimberly have been working mm -hmm. on for how long Ever. forever mm -hmm. it's been a goal for Eugene Tech to have a way to accept money and so yeah. you, we have a way to accept money uh, we have a, a shopping cart on the website we've got PayPal integration yeah. we've got everything set up with uh, Innovate Oregon mm -hmm. and now we're finally ready to yep. pull the trigger we've got a real reason to raise money yep. to get those hot spots yeah. the more hot spots we get the more concurrent shows we can do or the more cameras we can have it yeah. at, at one show so yeah. and so and any donation at any level will help us you know pick up our game raise our game to that to the next level so we could do more awesome events uh, with better quality and stuff like that so this is just really the first the first step towards doing that um, yeah. but so any support that you could possibly give is is hugely appreciated all right all right way to slather on the uh, gratitude yeah uh, and, I think, and I think thank you for any diehard fans who are actually watching thank you Matt um, you're probably watching. <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, thank Matt. Thank you. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.